It is amazing outside today, guys. I am finalizing the paperwork for this foster care to adopt right now. I am hyped. This is my last thing I have to do. I don't know what video I'm gonna put this in front of, but I just felt like grabbing my camera and putting it here. It's the little things in life that you're gonna find the most joy out of, right? So if you feel like your life is like really hectic and crazy, if you're looking at like a big picture right now though, it's it's not gonna make you happy. Like it's not. There's there's nothing that's gonna really bring you that happiness you're looking for when your life is so chaotic. And um, you should never look for other people's validation. Uh, it's just gonna leave you empty. So if you're doing something uh, like schoolwork or a job or starting a business to impress other people, you're doing it for the wrong reason. You should be doing it because you want to do it. And that's how I've kind of always lived my life. And I live it more and more like that now. Um, Cause I try to actually live out what I preach, you know? But I don't know. I don't know what video this is going in front of, but I just wanted to tell you guys that someone out there is counting on you. And don't count on anyone for you. Does that make any sense? Don't, don't, don't rely on anyone. Don't rely on anyone. But someone's counting on you. So it's like a motivation thing. Like someone's counting on you to do stuff, but don't count on anyone. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. All right, let's get right into this video. Good morning, guys. So today I am getting a new vending machine account. I actually got out of the vending business for a while, but I had an opportunity to come back up. These vending machines have card readers on them, which I've never ran before. I will tell you there's over a hundred employees, which is pretty big for a vending account. The first vending machine account that I had a while back, I ended up selling, but it only had like 20 employees in it. So we are gonna go get the stuff for it and I will pick you guys up when we get to Sam's Club. Okay, so we're in Sam's Club right now and we're trying to figure out where we are getting chips or how we're getting chips. We wanna get chips that are bigger, like the bigger bags. We don't want the little small ones because we're selling them for $1.25 a piece. So if we sell the smaller bags, they only cost us like 15, 20 cents a bag. The bigger bags are, you get more for your money. Um, they cost a little bit more, but we don't want the customer to get screwed over. So we're just trying to figure this out. All right, so we're gonna go with just one bag of chips right now because the guy said he's gonna fill it up for us a little bit to start out like for us. But I don't wanna put my faith in him too much because I don't know how much he's gonna fill it. So I just wanna get at least one box of chips to make sure it's filled up enough. Oh, it's not for sale. guys so we gotta be quiet because right beyond those doors is a call center but here is my new vending machine location I've had it for one week now well actually it's been over a week but the last time I was here um, it's only been like three or four days but I'm here to actually fix it it broke and I've only owned it for a week so that's fun so we gotta be quiet just because there's a big call center behind those doors but here they are guys these things are awesome this is an AMS snack machine uh, I like to call it the refund as well because there's sensors down here and it's really cool because the candy when it falls um, if it doesn't fall between the sensors it gives you your money back or the coil keeps spinning until something falls out uh, that's why you'll notice some of these coils are kind of spun more than others if you notice that like that one is like weird and that one is normal because that one probably had to spin more to keep giving something out until something fell. I don't have any machines with credit card readers on them. Uh, my last vending machines I used to have on location didn't have them either. Uh, this is the pop machine. This one also has a credit card reader. They take dollars and coins. This one's actually really cool because it looks like the light bulbs are burnt out in it, but they're not. As soon as you come up and press some buttons on it, the lights turn on. Uh, it's like an energy energy uh, saving thing. So yeah, this is all filled up currently. Um, I'm just actually here to fix C4. C4 is broke. Um, the gear on the back is actually screwed up. So I'll show you guys that here in a second and film me fixing it. I ended up buying a bunch of extra gears 
because apparently this is a common thing that goes out on these vending machines. So, so I got the auger off of the machine here and you can see this is the part that's actually broke. I'm gonna try to do my best to focus on it. The light is kind of weird. Like that at the end of there, I know I can't get my camera to focus on it and I apologize, there we go. If you look like it, it looks like a gear and at first I thought it was like a stripped out gear thinking, oh, this goes right into that little hole. Right there, see that little hole? But that's not the case. When the guy handed me it, I was like, where's the gear? And he was like, there is no gear. <laughs> what ended up happening is this long plastic piece is just so worn out, it's just twisted, if that makes any sense. Like the motor turns this and it just completely twisted this back plastic piece. So it should be easy to replace, just have to pop this plastic piece off and put this one back on. It should snap on in and God willing, it'll work. I've never worked on a vending machine myself, so just give me some time. Yeah, I would be lying to you if I said that it didn't take me 20 minutes. It, it goes in the complete opposite way that I thought I did. So let's try to slide this in here and see if it works. All right, so that looks like good news. This doesn't turn at all. Let's put some money in and see if it works. There we go, we got it. Hey, look at that, it's turning. <laughs> let's go. Oh wait, come on. Wait, are you getting stuck, bro? What are you do Yo, what are you doing? There you go, got it. It's always a good feeling when you fix something and it works right. All right guys, so we are at a liquor store today. Uh, this is actually a newer location I have and we're gonna be fixing the claw machine here. So the claw needs to be replaced. Um, actually it's the magnet that needs to be replaced but the claw that was on it, like this part, was kind of janky and screwed up. So we're just gonna replace the whole thing. It should only take us a couple minutes and uh, Let's get it. All right, here's the location. We got a coin pusher here. Sorry about the glare on the window. And then the claw machine. As you can see, the claw is just chilling right now, hanging down. So I got the machine all open. As you can see, this is just all screwed up. Yeah, if you can see all the wiring, it's all pulled out and janked up. And so we're just gonna cut this and redo the whole thing, start from scratch. Because sometimes that's what you have to do in business. Hopefully it's focused, I can't see the screen. Oh, son of a biscuit. Oh, that hurt so bad. So we had a broken wire up in this uh, gantry or this uh, cart somewhere. And whenever you went to go drop it in this certain spot, anywhere else in the machine was fine, but if you went to go drop it in this certain spot, the claw would only go down halfway and just close and come back up. But since we replaced the cart, it's now fully working. Um, one of the things I think we're gonna do though is uh, replace the or fix the other cart and so we have a spare one. So I just gotta zip tie the wire here uh, because you don't want to just leave this hanging because every time the claw goes down it's going to pull on that. So I'm going to zip tie that up and uh, we're going to be out of here. <laughs> 